It is quite modest size. They can accelerate and run at high speeds and is one of the notorious predators in the wild. And it's none other than the leopard. To understand why leopards are called notorious predators, so let's find out with us now. The moment the leopard goes hunting. Leopards are sexually dimorphic animals. Males are larger and heavier than females. Their appearance is rather muscular, but relatively short limbs and a broad head. Males are about 60 to 70 centimeters tall at the shoulders, while females are 57 to 64 centimeters tall. They live alone in their territory, and adults only associate with each other during the mating season, as the female continues to live with her cubs even after weaning, and receives a prey share when the cub has not been able to capture any prey. Leopards have a special ability to adapt, although their habitat is mainly associated with the savanna grasslands and the tropical forests. Physical characteristics and hunting characteristics signal the exciting hunting trips of leopards. The leopards hunt an impala. Seeing the impala herd walking around, the leopards rushed out to attack. With its speed, strength and superb hunting skills, it easily captured the antelope. Once in the hands of a leopard, in other to preserve their lives, the impala tried to resist, but the leopard does not let their prey escape. It struggles until the prey suffocates and dies. Then the leopards pull its prey into a bush and happily enjoys its fruit. Impala is a species of antelope found in Africa. They are sexually dimorphic species with a body height between 75 to 95 centimeters and the average weight of males is about 40 to 75 kilograms, when females are only about 30 to 50 kilograms. Despite having a larger body height than a leopard, the antelope is still terrified of it. Leopards are one of the four smallest cats, but in return, they have a lot of advantages in terms of strength and climbing ability. And thanks to the power of skilled hunting abilities, the leopard defeated the impala quickly. Usually small prey is eaten by leopards immediately, while larger prey is dragged for more than a few hundred meters and safely hidden in trees, bushes or even caves for later consumptions. The leopard eats a warthog. Leopards are relatively modest in size, about 2 meters long and weighing between 30 to 19 kilograms when fully grown. Compared to other larger cats in the family, a leopard at a healthy age can run more than 60 kilometers per hour and leap more than 6 meters horizontally and jump 3 meters high and can drive down the prey from a tree branch and it can also hide in the water. An amazing camouflage. Leopards are gifted with the agility and the ability to climb very well. Meanwhile, the humpback pigs average 60 to 80 centimeters tall. Weighing about 50 kilograms, it can be seen that with their God-given properties, warthogs is not their opponent. When the distance is close enough, the leopard swings, performing steps that can be said to be flying on the ground to chase the hump pig down. With a running speed of up to 60 kilometers per hour, the wild warthog are hardly a match for the leopards. The prey is quickly defeated in the same way that the leopard usually uses. It was using his extremely sharp teeth to bite directly into the throat of the wild boar, causing it to die of blood loss and suffocation. The leopard also carefully holds hunting prey in its mouth and then waits until it is completely dead to take its meal to the deserted place to enjoy. The leopard hunts a wildebeest and calf. Leopards will eat anything they catch, including squirrels, reptiles and sometimes young rhinos. They are also willing to eat carrion if given the opportunity. Leopards are experts in ambush hunting. Patience, tenacity and the ability to choose the right position are key factors in a successful hunt. Today, leopards hunted a wildebeest baby. The wildebeest do not form permanent pairing bonds and during mating or mating seasons, 
the male establishes temporary territories and tries to attract females to them. The estrus cycle is about 23 days, and the gestation period lasts 250 to 260 days. The young weigh about 21 kilograms at birth and limp to their feet within minutes, being able to move with the herd soon after. Surely, with a small and weak body, the wildebeest are no match for the leopards. When the leopards discovered the wildebeest, with the adaptiveness drawn by the years of hunting experience, the leopard slowly weaves its way through the bushes to get closer to its prey. It quickly observes the prey in the distance and watches for about five minutes, as it appeared to be confused by the wildebeest's presence and behavior. Once close to the prey, the leopard just needs to wait for the moment when the pair is caught off guard. It will use its powerful weapon of speed and the sharp claws to knock it down. Finally, the leopard jumps up from the front to grab the prey's neck, as it quickly killed the wildebeest and then pulled it into the bush under a nearby tree to enjoy. Thus, it can be seen that thanks to the skilled hunting skills, the leopards can hunt prey as small as insects, rodents and fish. Even larger prey such as wild boar, bush antelope, guar and impalas. And to continue watching our videos on the YouTube, then please click the like, subscribe and follow us. Have a good day, goodbye and see you in the next video.